Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported <sighs> kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Is happening right now. We are awesome. Look at it. Like it's so. Oh yes. Just adding to the the amazing carnage of what is Alan Wake, and this is just crazy. I mean, we just came to the farm and the Anderson twins, and they said they were a rock group, but they weren't kidding when they said that because I mean, look at this. This is awesome. This is just crazy awesome. I love this. Come on, Barry. You gotta you gotta rock out with me. I can't do this alone. Maybe I should do like a stage dive, right? Jump out. Come on, guys. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Only only band members are allowed on stage. Flair. Yeah. <laughs> Hear Barry back there? This is so great. Oh, what's up, dude? They are trying to kill us. Oh, God. That's the high point of my life. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is so great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. God, we get some angry fans, don't we? Man. Ah, oh. Flair. What's up, man? Oh, this is so cool. I wonder if the end of even like made this on purpose to like you know fight the dark. That'd be so awesome. Come on, grab some more stuff. Oh boy. Oh, oh I thought that was a <laughs> that's pretty awesome though. Oh, Flair. Yeah, some might say it's cheap. I say it's creative. Oh no, where's the gun? Actually, I'd probably actually want a shotgun right now if I still had it. I think rifle's okay, but it's like, it doesn't do quite as much damage as it could. I think it's a shotgun right there, but I'm having... Oh god, trouble getting to it. Oh god, no. Rock and roll! How awesome was that? <laughs> that was awesome. That's what I'm saying, Barry. That's what Bright I'm saying. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al, this way to the farm. I'm coming. Just calm down. We're gonna need some of these things. That's awesome. That was just brilliant. I'm I'm serious. Like I didn't see that coming. I know they were kind of crazy. Like yeah, we used to have a rock and roll band, but that's that is just so cool. And Barry got a sweet little box up here. Lucky him. That was that was awesome. That is style points for Alan Wake. Heavy duty lantern. I imagine that's got to be pretty good. Oh yeah, that's got to be good. Oh look at the range on that. Like just the normal range. This is awesome. This is like oh, so far. This is my favorite part of the game, hands down. Pick more revolver. I don't need that. Awesome. All right, now we actually have Barry with us. Let's go, Barry. Come on. Oh, this is so cool. This is just way awesome. I'm just... No, no, no. Oh, God. I'm dying. I'm dying. The, the darkness, it has me. Okay. <laughs> I have I have issues walking across little plank bridges. I actually have fallen off little bridges like that before. Kind of sad. Not like face first or anything, but have like just somehow tripped. Don't even ask me. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. <laughs> Your cutout's good and right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secure. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. God. Like I say, he's got great sarcasm, but like they make a great team. Like this, this cardboard cut is like a, it's like a running joke. It's, I love it. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Oh, okay. Um, this is an awesome farm, man. All right. Um, why do I feel like I can shoot that? Oh, I missed there. Yeah. Okay, that, those are definitely hits. What is that though? It's got to be like a crank, right? 
Which is weird. Alright, well. And this game does a good job of switching between combat and puzzle. It usually doesn't mix the two up, though. Like, you usually do one or the other. Climb to the roof. And now we gotta make this jump. Can we do it? Huda! Yeah, hurtling master. Alright, jump. Yeah, j jump. What are we doing? Like, about everything, and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Ooh, that was a burn. <laughs> Wake Scott burns. So like, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're obviously pretty good friends. Which still, I still, he's on the suspicious list. I know some people are like, "What? No, Barry can't be evil." But yes, he could. It, it could happen. I'm just, I'm not so naive to think that my best friend couldn't turn on me in the darkness or like some crazy plot twist. Because that's what I'd do in a story if I was writing it. What kind of a uh, lever is that? That's very interesting. I know they do it like that's. I know they have it for like lifting hay. Like they lift it and put it in the loft, but that's interesting. We need that in Harper's Moon. Oh, come on. That didn't hurt me last time, did it? <sighs> you guard the cardboard cutout, Barry. I'm going inside. Whoa. That thing out? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Did. Look at all this stuff. They must have done a. Sleep. Oh, night spring. Dreams Man. In a soft embrace. Back memory. Hey, remember when I got you that oblivion. gig? Your first uh, real writing job. What got you started? Oh, was this one of your episodes? Or vice versa. In night springs. Okay. So it's night springs is something we keep seeing. And they don't just keep showing things like this for no reason. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, it's Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his finest over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He uh. dreams everything, all of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't, isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely So, this this is kind of like, this whole thing could be like an Inception thing that's all just a dream. I think that's what they're kind of hinting at here. This is I, I think this is like an alternate reality that Alan Wake is actually writing. And he, like he said, he wrote himself in the story. That That's my theory. That's my early on theory. Well, not so early on now. We actually have a lot of backing to, to actually believe that but you know that's just that's my thought uh, well that's a nice little car back here I dig farms especially farms with Viking gear that's awesome anything else back here is that a generator I'm probably gonna miss like a manuscript page somewhere but hey I probably already missed like a ton so once you've already kind of missed one it's like well you know what I'm not getting 100 percent so all right, wow, you already ran out of breath, Alan? Uh, <laughs> yeah, one of those, that's some, like, some people's biggest fear, like, it's all just a dream, and when the person dreaming wakes up, we all die. That's, that's definitely not my biggest fear, and even if that happened, it'd be, like, kind of boring. I'd be like, man, that was dull. That's a, that's a lame way to go out. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but, you know, it's, that's not my thinking. Ooh, the Viking ship, they're the a nice Viking touch. Boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Ooh, then maybe we'll just have to use it like a battering ram. <laughs> that is so odd. Barry, move. Oh god, Barry! I thought I would kill Barry or something. That would suck, man. I am, I am mildly worried that something's gonna happen and he might turn on us, like the darkness might get Barry or something, so... Because of that other guy, I remember that other guy said it was like a twist horror ending where your best friend suddenly became the enemy. Remember when he said that, the guy in the farmhouse? So I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm a little worried about Barry. 
I'm afraid the comic relief guy, you know, they never make it through the story. If anyone knows anything, they just they know the comic relief guy never makes it. Oh god! I was gonna say, look at this flashlight, it's a beast, but. Oh come on, man. I'm taking cheap shots at me. And the revolver's kinda getting weak now, it's not one shot anymore. Well, that was a one shot. Oh god! Anybody else? Anybody else? I mean, I'm all, sur I'm all for surprise birthday parties here, guys, but God! Uh, that, I feel like that works a lot faster. Whoa, it's already out of uh, light, though. It's huge, though, so that's nice. I think it carries more batteries, too. Probably takes more to reload, though. So, pros and cons. Um, alright. Where are you? Where are you? Where'd Barry go? Oh, come on, I'm trying to use it easy on him, but... Where do you... Oh, man, it's one of those guys. Stupid teleporting. Remind me of Houdini splicers. God, those guys were annoying. I think we can make it through here, Al. You think? Whoa! Oh, I can't turn like that. There we go. I think that's the first guy who's jumped out at me in a cutscene, and I've successfully fended off. <laughs> I should get an award for that. Like, you did it halfway through the game. You finally did it. It's kind of hard, though, because it, it slows down everything when you're turning. Like, it gives you the chance, but it's like... If you're facing the opposite direction, it's pretty much impossible. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, deliberately turning slow there for dramatic effect. That, that does sound like something I would do, but trust me, I'm not. Alright, um... Who would've... Definitely don't want to touch those. Hey, nice chair. I take that... Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, okay, we're using a flare. Flashbang! I thought I had flares on me. Oh, big guy. And a truck. Maybe I can get two for one. Two for one. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, God. There we go. I can't tell if that takes less uh, flashlight juice or not. Flashlight juice. Sounds awesome. Where did Barry go? How did he do that? Oh, over there. Can I... Okay, that was interesting. I know I can't jump over something like that, but that was interesting. Nice fan. I can imagine this pretty pretty awesome lifestyle, like a rock and roll Viking farm. Those guys are awesome. Those are the kind of old guys I dig. That's the kind of old guy I want to end up being. Except I can't grow a full beard, which sucks. Yeah, okay, Barry, thanks. Thank you for moving through the door. Uh, and now we are in focus. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you want us aware? Yeah. And take a closer look at this stuff. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. Yeah, I figured, but you know, one thing that's kind of annoying about this light is it's actually way bright, so when you're trying to look directly at something, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, you think you'd want a brighter light when you're fighting an enemy that's called the darkness, but... Kick? Oh, yeah, now we know how to kick things. Like, we still don't shoot door handles off when we obviously could, but whatever. Whatever, that would be story-breaking, right? <laughs> Make it too easy. Be careful, Al. Thanks, Mom! <laughs> I mean, come on, Barry. Uh, and there is, uh, I can't remember if we can empty stuff in our inventory, I don't remember how to go there. I mean, obviously if we're full, like, I, want, I can't remember if it's an inventory system where it's like you can have more shotgun shells than pistol shells, or if it's like, you have a maximum of pistol shells, that's the mo most you can carry Whoa! What's up, dude? Yeah, I don't think that was any faster, but it definitely didn't take up as much light. Like, that would probably have drained the other flashlight. Okay, I'm good! Keep your eyes open, okay? Um, kind of. It's now this place kind of reminded me a little bit of a uh, deadly premonition, the final area in the clock tower. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'd be impressed if you did. Online points to you, if you've actually played that far in deadly premonition. Uh, just checking around. Nothing. No. Okay. Good. Climbing the ladder. Oh right, we got a man to climb. It's not worth a. That's kind of nice though. It's a nice effect. Another radio, huh? Pick up a few more things. Oh, another heavy duty lantern. Nice. That'll add to the batteries. 20 looks like our max. Um, nothing else up here we really need. And, uh, yeah. Well, we actually accomplished quite a bit in this episode. So I think now up here in the crazy. What is it? This isn't even a silo. This is like. This is a pretty tall tower for a farm. But, uh, 
we're gonna end, well, we probably shouldn't stand there. We're gonna we're gonna end things off right here, and the next episode we'll pick things back up and keep heading to the farm. So uh, until then, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.